Alright guys, so Apple will soon be releasing the next set of betas. Today I want to talk about when to expect iOS 26 Developer Beta 5 and Public Beta 2. I also want to talk about some of the new features and changes we can expect with the next betas as we now have some information in regards to some of the features that Apple is currently working on to add to iOS 26 here shortly. I wanted to share all those details with you guys, so let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So obviously with the next set of betas, we can expect a ton of bug fixes and issues for iOS users. Now, I've personally encountered some system crashes recently on the latest beta 4, and I've also encountered some issues with the phone application, specifically the hold assist feature. This feature allows you to place a call on hold. Your iPhone would come back and notify you that the person on the other end is ready for the conversation. Every time I try to get back to this feature, I always end up hanging up because it doesn't want to return to the call. And I've also had some issues where I try to read the transcript on voicemails and when I launch the phone application it just crashes on me especially when silencing unknown callers so obviously with the next set of betas we could expect a ton of bug fixes and these are just some of the bugs that I've encountered myself I would like to know from you in those comments down below what kind of issues or bugs have you encountered on your devices? Now, obviously, we're hoping to also see improvements to battery life and overall performance. This is something that Apple will continue to work on. And with the next set of betas, I will report back. But right now, we've seen some slight improvements on battery life when compared to beta 2 and beta 3. So battery life is definitely improving, but it still needs work. And we can expect improvements on stability, battery life, and performance overall with the next set of betas as well. So now now let's talk about some of the hidden features within the code of iOS that hints at some of the new features coming to iOS 26 with future betas, starting with adaptive temperature. Now this will be a HomeKit slash Apple Maps feature that allows your iPhone to determine and your thermostat to determine when you're leaving your home and arriving to your home in order to adjust the temperature to your liking when you're at home and when you leave the home. So yeah, adaptive temperature hidden within the code of iOS 26 could be coming soon to iOS users. Now another feature set to be coming soon to iOS and AirPods is live translation. This is all but confirmed. Apple is currently working on a new live translate feature set to be coming to AirPods and we could see this new live translation feature added to the firmware update betas for AirPods beta 5 and iOS 26 developer beta 5. I'll keep you guys posted but this feature as the name implies will automatically translate the language in real time into your ear. So if you talk to someone and they talk back on a language that you don't understand, your AirPods should be able to live translate that language into your ear so that you do understand what they're saying. So I can't wait to test this out, and it's just a matter of time when Apple adds this to AirPods. It's said to be coming to AirPods Pro 2 and AirPods 4th generation. I'll keep you guys posted in regards to that. Now, Apple is also working on a new public Wi-Fi login sync. So for example, if you're at a hotel room and you log into your Wi-Fi on your iPhone, all your Apple devices linked to the same Apple ID will automatically connect to that Wi-Fi network so that you don't have to log in to every single device when you're out and about and connect to a public Wi-Fi network. Now, one thing we can certainly expect is more refinements to liquid glass. Within the latest beta 4, Apple has once again and re-enable liquid glass for a lot of their applications, removing a lot of the frosted glass added with the third beta returning to almost the original liquid glass to iOS. And I know a lot of users really love liquid glass, but some users don't like it as much. So we'll definitely see some changes and tweaking of liquid glass once again with the next beta. Now that brings me to the final topic, and that is the expected release date. Now if history is an indication and Apple continues on a two weeks release schedule, we could see the fifth developer beta as early as tomorrow, Monday the 4th, and the next public beta a day or two after that. So just keep in mind that the next beta is tomorrow or the next couple of days, and a day or two later we'll see the public beta 2 available as well. So there you guys have it. Just wanted to share these details with you guys. Let me know what you think about iOS 26 so far. Is there any feature you would like to see Apple add to the iPhone? I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.